Hi friends. So today I'm going to go ahead and do my labor and delivery, not labor and delivery, uh, my, my birth plan. Um, so to start out with, um, I plan on trying to make it to where I, I can go into labor at home. I don't want to be induced. I want to be at home when I go into labor and stay at home for as long as possible, which um, if as long as my water doesn't break like it didn't with my girls, I can stay home for quite a while. So um, once I feel like I'm in active labor, then I'll go to the hospital, but I want to start my labor at home. Um, because it just, it seems, it makes it seem like the hospital, uh, your labor is so much longer while you're at the hospital. But, um, when I do end up going into the hospital, um, I figure they're going to assess me to make sure I'm in labor. Um, if I go in on my own without a uh, doctor sending me over, as long as nothing goes wrong from here. As long as I don't have to have C-section or anything like that. Um, now, before I go into full detail, I'm going to just state that I understand that things can happen to where you're not going to get the ideal labor and delivery that you want. Um, I have successfully had two natural births. Um with no issues but there's nothing saying that my little boy doesn't decide hey mom I'm gonna be breached so you're gonna have to have a c-section so uh, there's just there's no telling what will happen between now and the time that I go into labor or when I'm 39 weeks 40 weeks whenever the doctor decides to want to induce um, so I understand that there can be things that cause you to not have your birth plan the way that you want, which I also have something for that as well. Um, so, and I, I would show you guys my birth plan, but I don't have it typed up right now. Um, I've got to get some more ink as soon as I get it typed up. I will show it in one of my other vlogs. Excuse my daughter in the background. She is watching Angry Birds. Um, so, when I first go in, they're going to assess and make sure that I'm in active labor or that I'm contracting or whatever to make sure that I am actually going into labor. Um, once they have done that, then I'm going to make sure to request a room with a tub because I am somebody that does an unmedicated I don't get an epidural. Um, I don't get anything to numb me out. Um, with both of my daughters, I did get stayed all. My first one, um, I got some stayed all a couple different times, starting at about three or four centimeters dilated, and I regretted it every last minute of it because I was so loopy and out of it. I don't remember holding my daughter. I barely remember having her. Um, it just wasn't the experience for the first labor and delivery that I was expecting. So my second one, I pushed it off and pushed it off and pushed it off, which my water wasn't broke for my second one until I was six or seven centimeters dilated. Wait as long as possible to have your waters broke if your water don't break on its own because your water being broke makes it hurt 10 times worse. I've realized that with both of my girls because I was in excruciating pain the first time from three centimeters on and then with her from about seven centimeters on right after she broke my water, um, I, I went into excruciating pain. Eight centimeters, I started having real bad hot flashes and I had to have some state all too, which they gave me very, very little to kind of knock the pain out. Um, but I'm going to try and make sure that I get a room with a laboring tub so that I can labor in the tub for 
as long as possible until my water breaks. Shh. Once my water breaks, um, then I can't labor in the tub any longer. But um, as long as I go in with unbroken water, I'm going to request a room with a tub. It's a first come first serve because they only have two rooms. So um, I've asked that they not offer me any pain meds. I will request them if I want them. I'm not getting any epidural. I'm going to try my hardest this time not to get any statal at all. I'm going to try and do this completely um, natural without anything as long as I can make it with my waters not being broke, them breaking on their own. Um, I've also asked for free movement throughout my labor and delivery and I want natural rupture. Um, no Pitocin unless medically necessary. I did not have Pitocin with my either one of my other girls. Um, I ended up getting the Cervidil pill which put me into active labor very quickly. With the first one it was one pill and I was into active labor. Second one it took two. But it put me into active labor. So I don't need no Pitocin. Just give me that Cervidil. Um, and I would, I'm would i planning on using a birthing ball to bounce around on. I plan on squatting to help push the baby down. Um, if they have a peanut ball, I, when I'm laying down, I'm going to have a peanut ball between my legs to help push the baby down so that in no any way that I'm laying or sitting, I'm not got my legs closed to where the baby's got the ability to come down. It helps the baby come down quicker. Um, when I am delivering, I have requested to not have an episiotomy. I don't want nothing to do with that. I didn't have to have it for either one of my girls. I tore just a little bit, enough for two stitches, and that was it. If I'm going to tear that little bit, I can handle two stitches. Don't give me an episiotomy. Um, and I, I put on here that I would like to have a mirror to watch because I've never actually seen the baby being delivered. And I kind of want to see it. So I've requested for a mirror to be able to see me delivering my son. Um everybody's preference I did not know with either one of my girls that you could do that um, I would like to have my daughters in the room while I am delivering my son so um, we actually don't have a lot of family around right now um, I have family that don't really pay much mind to me I don't have anybody here so really the only way to have anybody here for the girls would be for me to be induced. And I really don't want to be induced if I don't have to. But if my OB doesn't want my children in there while I'm delivering, then I'm going to have to be induced and have somebody scheduled to be here. Um, because otherwise, my husband would have to be out of the room while I'm having the baby, and I'm not having that. Um, I want him right there with me. So, and my oldest daughter was actually in the delivery room when I had Emily, which she was almost five when I had Emily. And um, I delivered with Jordan in the room and she enjoyed that experience. So even if we do have somebody here for Emily, I'm probably gonna go ahead and have Jordan in the room with me as well because she got to experience it with Emily and she enjoyed it. So, I'm going to do that. And then, um, after delivering him, um, I plan to have immediate skin-to-skin. -skin. Um, and I want delayed cord clamping until it has completely stopped pulsating. I want my baby to get all of the blood from the placenta that he is supposed to get. Um... And then I have asked for 
which my hospital does this anyways, but I'm going ahead and putting it in my birth plan. Um, they have the golden hour to where they're going to put the baby skin to skin immediately as long as baby doesn't need extra help breathing or suction or um, being warmed up or anything like that. They're going to go ahead and keep baby on mom for the first hour for breastfeeding or uh, just bonding because some women plan to formula feed. I, however, I breastfeed. So I plan to have baby put on me skin to skin um, for the first hour. And then um, I have requested for them not to give any formula. Um, the vaccines and vitamin K I am okay with. Um, and then I wish for all the procedures that are going to be done discussed with me before they do it with my son. We are planning on having him circumcised, which I watched the videos, um, on circumcisions and I kind of am feeling off about it, but my husband being a male himself said that he would much rather our son be circumcised because of certain his certain reasons and him being a man himself and being a circumcised man i'm going to take his word for it and go with it because he prefers that our son be circumcised so um i'm not down in anybody who don't because that's just their their preference. I'm not down in anybody for wanting to do it. But I know it looks pretty painful. And I really don't want to put my son through that. But my husband said that it honestly is better for him. So he would much rather our son be circumcised. So I'm going with what he says. Um, and then in case of any issues, um, if I have to have a C-section, I'm... I'm going to figure out something. I'm hoping not to have to have an epidural. I've heard that the spinal tap is um, better than the epidural. You don't have to... Um, that It's not as big of a needle. So I'm going to see what the options are for if I have to have a C-section um, for something other than the epidural because I really don't want the epidural no matter what I do but if I have to do have an epidural just to make sure that I can stay awake during a, a c-section I will do that um, I would like for my husband to be with me while I'm having a c-section granted if there's someone there to be with our girls um, and I still want the immediate skin to skin and cord clamping delayed and then um, if I end up with a cesarean section, they are going to go ahead and do my tubal then. Otherwise, I have to wait until after my six-week appointment. And then um, if my son has to go to the NICU, um, I'm planning for my spouse to go right directly with him. Um, and I have requested on my paperwork that they not give him any bottles they allow me to express milk and give it to him through a syringe or some other way other than through a bottle because I don't I don't want him getting that confusion right from get-go because it's it's harder to get a baby to go from bottle to breast um, I actually had an experience with my uh, middle daughter she um, I had to have a surgery to have a kidney stone removed and I had to do a test that run nuclear fluids through me and I couldn't breastfeed her for three days so I had to pump and dump and then just feed her what I had already had stocked up which I had a lot stocked up but um, her getting the bottle for that, those three days, she at 10 months old, she never went back to the breast. So I had to pump, and after so long, I just I gave up because she wouldn't she wouldn't go back. And I think I think I pumped for another two months 
before I quit, but I wanted to do that look that longer nursing with her than just the one year. Um, outside of that, um, I plan to have my son in the room with me, which they, they have that. The only thing that they have on my labor and delivery floor is, um, a NICU. They don't have a nursery, so baby's in room with mommy at all times, which I'm fine with. I kept my kids with me the whole time, except for when they went for their procedures. Oh, excuse me. Um, when they went for their procedures, like, to see the pediatrician and things like that. The only thing that I really don't want done in the room with me is him having a C-section, which I'm sure, because it is a form of a surgery, they're going to take him in to the cesarean room or something like that. Um, I prefer that not be done to where I can see it because that's going to hurt me badly. Um, and then... Outside of that, there really isn't anything else because I'm, I'm fine with getting an IV because I know you need them IV fluids, especially me because I'm not one when I'm in labor. I'm not the greatest at eating ice chips and drinking water and things like that. Um, I try to rest as much as possible so that way um, I'm well rested whenever I have to push. Um, I didn't sleep much the night that I w went in to be induced for my daughter Emily, which was my second one. I didn't sleep very much that night, so I was really, really exhausted come time to push, and I was just, I had a hard time pushing her out because I was so exhausted. It took me longer to push her out than it should have. So always make sure that you get enough rest in between contractions and, um, if you have the epidural, rest. Don't stay awake just because you've got the epidural and you're okay. Rest. You need your rest. Because there's no telling how long it's going to be. My first one was only six hours. Second one was 12. So, um, thank you for watching my vlog. Um, I plan to have some more vlogs up here soon. I've got some family members talking about buying some things for baby boy. So, we'll hopefully do a... Um, baby haul before too long um hopefully because i am 26 weeks now and i've got some more vlogs coming up here soon for my um weekly pregnancy updates um i think i'm gonna slack back to doing every two weeks for my um pregnancy updates and then um I've also got, sometime this month, I have a, a box coming from Walmart, a free box coming from Walmart that I will also be doing a video on. So, if you would like to see any of those videos, go ahead and subscribe down below and click that bell to notify you when I update. Um, and then like the button or click the like button if you like this video thank you for watching and have a blessed day